have you heard about plastics piranha? It's an innovative way to tackle a massive problem. That problem, the amount of plastic polluting the Pacific Ocean and our Bay Area waterways. Now, here is an eye-opening number. About 7 trillion pieces of plastic wash from city streets into the San Francisco Bay each year. That's according to a 2019 estimate from the San Francisco Estuary Institute. And the consequences are serious. Plastic pollution can kill wildlife. Pass on toxic chemicals into the ecosystems and tiny fragments of plastic called microplastics can even end up in our food. So for a problem that big, could a tiny robot make that big of a difference. We're talking about a rover with that clever nickname, the Plastics Piranha. Its makers are focusing on local marinas where they think they can get the biggest bang for their buck, cleaning up coastal debris. KPX 5's Mary Lee got a chance today to see the Plastic Piranha in action. We're at Point San Pablo Harbor in Richmond to show you this high-tech solution to a major environmental problem, trash in our oceans. This is the Clean Earth Rover. It's an electric autonomous robot that acts just like a Roomba vacuum to clean our waterways. I love this marina. Um, it's my home and it's not a job, it's a, it's a lifestyle really. Daryl Henlein is the harbor master and co-owner of Point San Pablo Harbor. As you can imagine, Daryl feels passionate about keeping his harbor and his planet clean. Marina owners can do their part by trying to keep plastics out of the water column at the source. That's what we're trying to do is just help in that effort. Every year, 11 million tons of plastic and debris enter the world's oceans, according to the United Nations Environment Program. Out of that, reports say 6.6 .6 million tons of debris stay circulating within our coastal waterways and beaches. And this is where Michael Aaron's Clean Earth Rovers sweep in. I remember from a very young age being very passionate about climate change and, and air pollution and things of that nature, but it wasn't until I was, you know, pretty much older that I had learned about the ocean plastics issue. His robots can operate autonomously or with a joystick, skimming the surface of marinas and coastal waterways to collect 100 pounds of trash and debris per trip. The recycled mesh collection bags have large enough holes so small marine life won't get trapped inside. It's also battery powered, so 100% electric, using obstacle avoidance software to steer clear of boaters and marine life. I mean, we hope to be in as many marinas as possible and, and make this, you know, as widespread and mainstream as, you know, a Roomba would be vacuuming up your living room. Um, you know, the more devices we have, the more strength and numbers we have to solving this massive issue. This Clean Earth rover will stay in this marina for three months. The plan is to keep one rover here in the Bay Area. They're launching another one in the Hudson River in New York next month. In Richmond, Mary Lee, KPIX 5. Mary, thank you.